Welcome to Quipscope, the show where we talk about a brand new game. My name is Ashton. And my name is James. James Jenkins! Who? Oh, oh my he's gosh. Back again. He's back again Ugh. for another game. What game have you been playing? It's a super easy to explain game called Lemnis Gate. Super easy to explain. Oh, it's just easy I've to heard say. a little bit of this yeah. as well. Uh, it came out on Xbox and Xbox Game Pass. And was it also on PC? Um, it's well? on PC, available on Game Pass as well. And mm-hmm. I believe it's also available on PS4. Wow, so oh. it's everywhere. So, James. I know you've written a way of trying to explain this game. Can you explain Lemnis Gate as quickly as you can? <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so uh, Lemnis Gate is a turn-based strategy FPS taking place in a time loop. Mm-hmm. So basically playing as either 1v1 or 2v2, each turn you control a different operative with unique weapons and skills, and you aim to complete objectives or just kill the enemy. But each turn is layered into the same 25 seconds. And so you can affect the actions of previous rounds, previous characters, either saving or killing them from earlier turns, basically just altering the flow of time. Ooh. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of the 4D chess of arena shooters I've written down. Here. Yeah, so there's like, so. what, nine, eight or nine different kinds of character that are like yeah. different abilities. You know, the things of one of them's a rocket launcher guy, yeah. one of them's a robot, one yeah. of them has a machine gun. Yeah. Um, and you just have to uh, kill each other before the other one does. Because if you die, mm. you still have a couple of seconds of your turn to continue to do things, don't you? That's right, yeah. So um, you have like a few different sort of game types. Mm. And like, yeah, one of them is just sort of like deathmatch. And then you've got like uh, capture certain objectives, like sort of variations on like capture the flag or like domination where you just shoot these things. And, you know, whoever shoots them more claims that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the, the different operatives, it's um, it's very cool how they've managed to, and I'm quite surprised how weirdly balanced it is. First of all, I'll say, it is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? I did have a lot of fun, yeah. But I only played a couple of games um, yeah. because it's something we'll talk about later on. But mm. um, I thought it was really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And at Excellent. one point I was like giggling my way through it because I just <laughs> kept killing my partner's um, characters before they killed my characters. And he was like, stop it! Uh, <laughs> God, stop being so good. Too professional. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those where I, I know what you mean because like there were several points where I'm like something clicked. I'm like, oh my god, yes, this is a master plan. And then it either like goes to crap or it works out perfectly. And either way, I was just like, ah, <laughs> this is amazing. Um, so there's yeah. a couple of different modes how it plays as well, isn't there? It's like mm. you go, then I go, then you go, yeah. then I go, or then mm. we go at the same time every single time. Did you get That's a chance right. to experience both? Nice. Yes, so I, I played both. So yeah, as you say, there's like, uh, I think it's called like simultaneous yeah, or simultaneous. like turn based. Yeah. So, um, yeah, despite it sort of advertising itself as a turn based strategy, you do have that element of simultaneous. And I found that simultaneous is where, like, yeah, both players have um, potato turn at the same time. So each character is sort of, uh, you're facing off against a live human opponent. Yeah. At least one. Um, yeah, you could be 2v2. But at that time, you're basically. Um, I found that to be like more frenetic, but more like fun at the same time because you have that added pressure of, okay, well, either I sort of take down somebody who went in a previous round and I know what they're doing and I can sort of easily deal with that. Yeah. But you've always got to like look over your shoulder and wonder like, where where's the actual human here? Yeah. Oh God. And, and several times I was like trying to um, enact, you know, a master plan that I just concocted in like a few seconds. and. <laughs> then suddenly I'm getting shot by the guy who's actually just focusing on killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the objective, you fool. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's, it's a, lot, uh, a lot of fun there. The turn base, I played a little bit of that as well, but I played that, so I played it both on the PC and the Xbox. I only managed to play the turn based on the Xbox. And, um, yeah, because I tried, yeah. so um, I was trying to play with my partner who we were doing it in a party. Mm. So there's 1v1 and 2v2. We were just trying to do 1v1 because we were just trying to try it out. Yeah. Um, and we spent about... 15 minutes about the 
hour that we played of it, if not more, um, just waiting to get into a lobby, which is crazy because it was literally just us trying to play. Yeah. If we wanted to play simultaneous, mm -hmm. we could play perfectly fine. This was on PC, okay, by the way, so on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. Um, we could play perfectly fine if we wanted to go into simultaneous, take maybe like 30 seconds. If we wanted to go into turn-based, mm -hmm. um, we just couldn't get into a game, which is really crazy because, so like weird. I say, we were playing together. There was no, we weren't mm -hmm. waiting for anyone else to join. It literally just, we needed a lobby to play in, essentially. Yeah. Um, and we couldn't get in, so we didn't play any of the turn-based. So I played a couple of games of simultaneous. Mm. I played like two ones of the kind of capture the flag yeah. style game, and then one like of the defend like slash the destroy, XM. seek and destroy. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the one. Exotic material. But did you have any issues with getting into games? Because um, I know yes. you were playing online just with other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, same issues, honestly. Like I thought it was maybe the PC version, so I didn't know if like crossplay was enabled for PC or not. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check. But I know it's a, an option for console. But um, it took, you know, a, a minimum sort of two or three minutes, which is mad because you're literally, you're not looking to fill out like a 64 player lobby. You're looking for one other person minimum yeah. <laughs> to play against. So um, that was a bit of a letdown. And then I switched over to the Xbox and thinking like, oh, it's on Game Pass and it's cross-play on, cons um, yeah, on consoles. Um, should be easier to find a match. No, not a chance. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I was waiting for maybe about 15 minutes total, maybe close to 20. Yeah. Um, but then I switched over to Ranked and it was fine. So I feel like everybody's just going on that, hey, it's a new game, let's get myself on a leaderboard. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, do you have any other issues with the game? Cause I mean, I only have yeah. that one issue with sort of getting into the game mm. and, but I don't think I played it for long enough to find any other issues mm. do you have any other issues with it yeah I'm glad you reminded me actually the um the other thing I did have a, a pretty major issue very early on on a PC mm -hmm. and it was a weird one it was basically like display issues it was fine uh playing sort of 1080 but uh I recently you know got a, got a snazzy sort of PC and wanted to up it to 4k <laughs> like a fancy boy uh -huh. and for some reason um the display just flipped out it just completely wigged out it was um, went to full screen, uh, 4K, and just would display as a smaller sort of window, it kept sort of clicking on that, and it just wouldn't respond. And I could not for the life of me figure out how to make it work for about 15 minutes. And then for some reason, it just worked one time. So oh. there are some weird issues to watch out for. There's definitely something to watch out for on PC, but then, you know, PCs can be a bit weird <laughs> sometimes. Can. Yeah, yeah. But did you enjoy it? Would you? Are you going to go back and play it again? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I found that it's just really satisfying once you. It is, you know, we appreciate it. it's quite a, a difficult concept to get your head around, but it's so, um, it's so satisfying once you sort of get a, a game yeah. or two in and you think, right, okay. So each turn you can only use like one operative, and then you think, all right, what's the best one to use in this turn? I'll, yeah. I'll use the quick guide to get the objective, and then like later on. You know, to counteract someone else, putting down some like uh, turrets or, mm -hmm. you know, sniping the guy, you could either like. So one time I sort of did a counter snipe and um, shot this guy. Uh, another time it's yeah you could you could shield um your your friendly person which yeah. is a lot easier said than done because i tried that so many times and just <laughs> missed them um but all yeah the, all the characters are, like, all the operatives are quite fun to play as, mm. as well they all have their own like special ability and yeah. their own type of weapon and obviously if you use maybe your rocket launch on one at the beginning that's mm. not great because you're not going to be able to use that later on. So it's like you have to think exactly. about which one you're using first and yeah. who you're going to play as, which is I think is a really interesting mm. concept because it makes you have to makes you have to kind of in the two seconds you get to figure <laughs> out what operative you're going to get, you have to really think about it. That's it. Yeah, it's a lot of strategy. Yeah, and and you know it's day one, and that might explain the sort of uh, the lack of like you know the the polish on the matchmaking lobbies mm -hmm. as well. Um, but also I, I I have no doubt some people come up with some mad strategies. But that's the the weird thing I found is like. It's, it feels at least in the early days that they've balanced it fairly well and yeah. just by virtue of like it being a 25 second sort of timer and then you get a bit of time like in between to sort of check uh, so you can like hover around and sort of see what other people have done to formulate your plan that yeah. sort of thing and it's it's one of those like just because you don't have that long every second counts so if you say for example I was saying earlier um, try and like protect one of your existing operatives that are all at, already like sent out doing their thing, shooting a, a shield bubble at them. It's very difficult to hit them, but if you decide in advance, all right, I'm going to stop and stand still for a second and make it that easier, well, you're wasting valuable seconds. You only got 25 of them. Yeah, exactly, so, yeah. Yeah, 
it's yeah just a lot of fun very satisfying when it comes off and weirdly i found not even frustrating when you um when you die because you're just like, oh, no. that's clever. you've not really got the time yeah. to be frustrated because <laughs> no. it's such a quick it's such a quick if you if mm. you are into games that are very like quick fire but also require some kind of strategy um i would recommend this game yeah i'm not really big on pvp anyway but mm. i would recommend this game would you recommend the game? Um, absolutely, at yeah. this stage. There are some technical issues and matchmaking issues, which is a shame because that can really kill like a sort of smaller multiplayer game before it even gets off the ground. Mm -hmm. So really, I really do hope... It's on Game Pass, guys. If it you're, is on Game if Pass. <laughs> at all, this really dodgy explanation of it has like convinced you, please at least check it out because um, it's a lot easier to see in an action uh, and to try it out than to you know listen. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was so much fun. There are so many instances. I want to talk for like another half an hour about. Oh, I did this, and then you know, the, <laughs> then they did that to counteract it. But then I put down like a turret, and that killed the initial guy, and then boom, ah, oh, my my first guy's alive. Oh, I think um, I didn't mention earlier the um, when you die, it's not even a frustration in that respect because you know, A, you can sort of save your person in later rounds, yeah, and B, you sort of carry on in ghost mode. Yeah, so you can like preempt that you might survive the next round mm. and still do the thing that you need to do like capture the flag or something yeah so it's really cool mm. well that's lemnis gate so lemnis gate more like let me kill you and then you go gate gate yeah uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's good it's good um let <laughs> lemnis gate more like uh le lemons fate uh-huh because because hang on uh yep. because you know if, if life gives you lemons with some some bad matchmaking. No, once you yeah. get in, you make lemonade out of it, and that's that's the I've fate of the lemons. Fun. Amazing, cool. Well, awesome. thank you guys for listening. We'll be back soon, and uh, love you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.